Firefighters are dealing with a lot. The dry weather, the heat, the wind, and as the holiday weekend approaches, they're hoping people aren't careless because they've got enough on their hands. Uh, I think that it's going to be a lot of hard work, a lot of hard work. Uh, I think everybody's mindset is that it's, it's going to be a long year. For task leader Gordon Hartung and his team, fighting the Rentham Market Fire east of Dufer has been totally different. Because we're a structural task force, so we're used to the city uh, and, and a lot of residential commercial buildings, so coming out here is a different ball game. Uh, the land, uh, the other big thing, the topography, the wind, uh, extremely windy out here. Two buildings have burned. One of them, this barn, now reduced to rubble. This home and historic abandoned schoolhouse were saved. Uh, I think everyone's prepared to put in long days, long hours. The hard work put into the Rentham fire is a snapshot of the work crews are putting into other fires. Currently in Oregon, we are tracking um, several large fires that are on the landscape. The Northwest Interagency Coordination Center is tracking three large wildfires, Rentham Market, Rattlesnake, which is northeast of Warm Springs, and one that's not on this map, the Ryegrass Fire. One is the Ryegrass Fire, 1,000 acres um, burning east of Polina, Oregon. Um, again, Polina is kind of in the central southeast part of the state. They're also watching several small fires, some caused by Wednesday's lightning. Um, we had uh, over two dozen small fires that um, were started with that activity, and our initial attack resources um, have responded and are working on those incidents. In some places, we've never seen it this dry at this time of year, so there is potential for any spark to run, especially when we have this kind of wind. Ali Dean, who is helping fight the Rentham Market fire, says crews will be in rough shape if more fires start up. We're all crossing our fingers and just praying. Definitely a good reminder to be responsible this 4th of July. Connolly says currently there are no large active wildfires burning in Washington, but across the U.S., the National Interagency Fire Center says there are 44 large fires burning right now. Pretty much all of them burning here on the western side of the U.S.